seven years. We haven't had a decent vehicular combat game in seven years. Sure, we've had battle modes and kart racers, but those are just cute. I want something gritty, something dark. I want carnage. I want twisted metal black. Here comes a new challenger. Yeah. Have you ever driven down a freeway in rush hour and wanted to just ram every single person off the damn road? David Jaffe did. The daddy of God of War was sitting in traffic on the 405, having visions of Mad Max style combat with Michael Bay-esque explosions. He pitched this idea to Sony and the Twisted Metal franchise was born. The plot works like this. A man named Calypso runs a tournament every year called Twisted Metal. Competitors drive around, trying to kill each other with missiles and machine guns attached to their cars, and the winner gets to make a single wish, whatever their heart desires. Each car was driven by a wacky character, and when they got to make their wish, Calypso would twist their words and turn their wish into a nightmare. For example, if you want the body of a 20-year-old, you better wish for the head, too. You drive your vehicle around each level, looking for enemies to kill and weapons to kill with. This, combined with the darkly funny endings, made the first two games a blast to play through and instant PlayStation classics. Then, Twisted Metal 3 and 4 happened. <laughs> Twisted Metal 3 and 4 are bad. They look bad, they control bad, and they sound bad. I hate them, get rid of them, the RC car spinoff too. But then David Jaffe was asked to make a new Twisted Metal game for the PlayStation 2. And with the PS2's new more adult direction, Jaffe knew he had to make some changes. No more tongue-in-cheek jokes. No more wild wishes of fancy. The new Twisted Metal was going to be grittier. It was going to be more brutal. It was going to be rated M for mature. Twisted Metal Black represented a massive shift in the series. The dark and twisted sense of humor was traded in for just darkness. And you know what? That not only makes Twisted Metal Black the best game in the series, but the best vehicular combat game ever. You see the shift in tone from right when you boot up the game. You zoom through people running from cars and are greeted by a flaming clown head. And oddly enough, that's the only source of color on the whole screen. Throughout the game, you'll notice that there really isn't any color throughout the whole thing. Now I've complained once or twice about the lack of color in a game, but here, I think it's a bold choice. It's not just a bland color palette. It's a choice made by the developers to reflect the new dark tone that Twisted Metal Black was going for. See, it's even right there in the damn title. Black. This tone is even more evident with the setting and characters. Most characters in the game are inmates at Blackfield Asylum who were released by Calypso. This justifies them taking part in such a ludicrous competition. You have to be truly evil and unstable to justify killing innocents to make a wish. And the wishes this time around are incredibly personal. It's not just, oh, I want to fly, or I want a tall building named after me. They're more along the lines of, I want to get revenge on the bullies who drowned my best friend. When a character's want is that personal to them, it becomes personal to me. Even though this doesn't really apply to me because I would never do that to anyone, but you get the point. Plus, we get some of the most memorable characters in all of Twisted Metal history. Twisted Metal Black introduced Dollface, a woman with a doll mask permanently attached to her face who drives a semi-truck. And of course, who can forget this iconic version of Sweet Tooth? While he's lost the shirt off his back and gained a few pounds in Twisted Metal Black, this is easily the best version of the psychopathic clown. He was even in PlayStation All-Stars. Like you'd actually see someone like him in Smash Brothers. Eve for everyone, my ass. But my favorite character has got to be Mr. Grimm. In previous games, he was the Grim Reaper on a motorcycle. But in Twisted Metal Black, Mr. Grimm is a Vietnam War vet who wears the skull of his friend who he had to eat to survive on a motorcycle. <laughs> 
some things never change. You get even more development about the characters in the loading screens. Each one provides you with a quick quote about how the character is feeling, which is cool considering you're going to have to beat the game with every single person. And not just the characters you start with. There are unlockable characters, and they're honestly one of my favorite parts of the game. Normally in a game like this, you'd unlock a character every time you beat the game. Twisted Metal Black, however, does things a bit differently. If you want to discover every single character, you need to explore each of the levels. With a watchful eye and a little bit of destruction, you can easily find each of the secret characters. And these characters are some of the most interesting in the game. There's the fan favorite Axel, which is the man between two giant wheels, and Charlie, Kane, and Son, a boy who controls his deceased father with a remote control. See, now this would have made Twisted Metal Small Brawl much more interesting to me. Have the children controlling remote controlled people instead of remote controlled cars. I also love the details of the cars. All of the cars are much more realistic with additions you can see whenever you switch to a different weapon. Missiles come out of sunroofs, people manning Gatling guns, and ice cream trucks turning into evil clown mechs. Now I know this seems ludicrous, but it makes it feel like the competitors did this themselves on their own cars, and that, well, maybe I could do it too. I mean, <laughs> I would never do such a thing. <laughs> While the cutscenes and music give Twisted Metal Black a slower, creepier feel, the gameplay is completely the opposite. It's fast, chaotic, and it makes you feel just as unhinged as the characters. And I love it. This game plays more like a fight than an actual fighting game. You feel that nervous build, that dread before the gameplay even starts. Then once it gets going, you don't have time to plan your next move. It's constant in the moment and you either win or you die. You drive around a level shooting your machine guns and missiles at any enemy who may be a threat. Buildings crumble to the ground as you shoot at them. Helicopters fly around you giving you health and weapons. If you blow up a car, the driver leaps out of the car on fire and starts screaming. These kinds of details are happening constantly all around you, and you never have a chance to really stop and appreciate them. The game doesn't give you that chance, mostly because levels can destroy you back. They each have unique hazards that are incredibly intimidating, whether it be a giant trash compactor that you can also ride, or a ferris wheel rolling across the town, these levels are out to get you. The only way to live is to keep moving, keep shooting, and stop thinking, or you're dead. And that's how Twisted Metal is played. And there's one character in particular who knows how to play Twisted Metal. Minion, last year's champion. He serves as a boss halfway through the game, driving an oil tanker with a flamethrower and a shield that is easily the hardest part of this game. But sometimes playing Twisted Metal Black can get lonely. So why not bring a friend? There's a great versus mode where up to four people can get loose on one another. Or if you prefer to play nice, you can murder people together in co-op mode. And if you want to feel even more chaos, or if this game is too hard for you, there are plenty of cheat codes you can take part in. These make the game much easier and make you feel like a truly powerful specimen. And they don't prevent you from getting trophies or any unlockables, so why not try them? Throughout each of the levels in the story mode, there are black cubes. And if you find these black cubes, you will unlock a new level. While this is really similar to how you find the characters, it's not as satisfying. The black cubes are much harder to find and it's not the same as finding a whole car, but I still appreciate having to find them as opposed to just unlocking them. The thrill of driving around, the egomania of using cheat codes to dominate everyone, the frustration in your battle with Minion, and the disappointment of slowing down to find the black cubes. Hell, it's almost as if the game was programmed to make you feel like one of the inmates at Blackfield Asylum. Twisted Metal Black constantly rewards you while you play, but the best reward comes after beating the game with every playable character. You see, there's one last character you get to play as, and that's Minion. While you don't get the impenetrable shield, you'll still get to play as the best car in the whole damn game. And that's not even the best part. By the way, spoilers from a game that came out in 2001, you were paying attention, you might remember that I mentioned that each character has a deeply personal want and quotations on the loading screen. Not Minion, however. Minion's loading screens are just filled with a series of numbers. Each refers to a letter in the alphabet. One equals A, two equals B, etc. If you decipher this code, you learn that Minion is Marcus Kane, Sweet Tooth's other personality, and that the whole tournament takes place in Sweet Tooth's head and he misses the colors. 
That's why this game is so much darker in tone. That's why there isn't much color in the levels. That's why the pace is so erratic. It makes you feel like you're in a crazy person's head because you are in a crazy person's head. I didn't play this game for 15 hours. I didn't beat the story mode 14 times. I didn't find those five characters and collect those seven cubes. I didn't kill all those people. That was all somebody else. That was all in someone else's sick, twisted mind. Try. <gasps> ah. <sighs> Wake up, you gotta finish Twisted Metal Black. I already completed it. Oh, you did? Yeah. Well, then what's the verdict? <sighs> All right, well, Twist Metal Black is a lot of fun. It can make you feel scared and uneasy in one moment, and the next, completely badass. And it rewards you along the way as you complete the game. And it has one of the most interesting twists that I can recall to memory. So, with that in mind, guys, I give this game my completionist rating of Complete it. Complete it! That's all the time we have for today, guys. So please, as always, let me know what you thought about today's episode somewhere on the internet. If you like the show, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell to get all notifications. We do new videos every Wednesday and Saturday. And hey, let me know in the comments down below what you want to see. Tell me what to complete. I got your back. Probably not Yakuza, but we'll see. That's it, as all, guys. I'll see you next week for a brand new episode. Bye!